Hello plant people, Nora the Lekker Queen here. Thank you very much for joining me on my channel where we talk about all things in the plants. Today we are going to do a tour of my Hoyas. I have about 47 Hoyas. I know 47 is a bit of a lot. But then with Hoyas, that's just scratching the surface. There's so many beautiful Hoyas out there. So many lovely ones that are still on my wish list, but I'm gonna look at what I've got at the moment, 47 of them. Um, before we get stuck into it, I must tell you that because I've got 47 Hoyas, this is going to be quite a long video. So grab yourself a drink, grab some popcorn, and we will look at some Hoyas. And I'll have my most favorite Hoyas dotted here and there in between, but the best one, the one that I love the most, that's coming right at the end. So you guys better stick with me. So we'll get started. And to kick us off, we've got this one. It is called the Hoya Compactor Hindu Rope or Indian Rope. This, this one is really lovely. I really like it. I love the fact that the leaves are dark green and they're very, very curly. They're quite tight. And because of this, you can have pests in between those leaves. So mealybugs particularly like to go in there. So you, when you're inspecting this plant for pests, make sure you go deep, deep down, you know, inspect all the leaves just to make sure you don't have anything untoward in there. So yes, this is the lovely, lovely, curly Hoya Indian Rope. I've had this plant, this is one of my oldest Hoyas actually. I had it and it was living in soil for quite some time before I moved it to semi-hydroponics. And back then, nothing happened. It did absolutely nothing. It was up on a trellis, but I've decided I want it to flow down. So I've taken off the trellis and it's, you know, I think we're getting there. It's making some progress. I love how that's going. Um, so yeah, that is my Hoya Indian Rope Hoya Compactor. I have also got, this one is a smaller Hoya Compactor, smaller, smaller Hoya Indian Rope, excuse me. But this one is a variegated one. It's, it's not very clear at the moment. It's a bit hard to see. But this one has got inside variegations. So if you look at that leaf, there's a little bit of white on the inside. So this one is an inside variegation. Oh, this one's, this leaf's a bit better. You can see that there's some white on there on the inside. Inside variegated Indian rope. I used to have an outside variegated one as well, so I had three of these. The outside one didn't do so well, and well, it died. So you've only got this to take a look at. Next, we have next, this is a Hoya Akuta Pink. I love how spiky the leaves are, dark green. They have, it has little, little pink splashes on there. I don't know if you can see that. It's it's really quite beautiful. Um, it's got some new growth coming through there, which is always nice. And I think this will really look nice when it's nice and bushy. So this is a Hoya Akuta Pink. So I must say that, you know, a lot of people collect Hoyas because they like the flowers. Um, so these are the flowers of that Akuta Pink. Unfortunately, uh, my Akuta Pink is still quite young. But look, Hoyas flower even if they're young, so that's not an accurate statement. Um, it just hasn't flowered for me yet. So I guess mine take a little bit longer because when I get them, I immediately transfer them to Leica. So there has to be that transition period. So I can't be too greedy and expect them to give me flowers right away. I've got another one here. And I always have my name tags, guys, because there's so many Hoyas I can never remember them all. You know, I'm not that obsessed that, you know, I know them my name. So this one is a Hoya Public Alex Purple Hybrid. It's a purple hybrid. I just love, I love this Hoya. The leaves are really long. This looks like a new leaf. Check out how shiny that is. It's a lighter green compared to the other ones. And it's got these white splashes. It's just absolutely beautiful. This plant is doing really well. You've got some new growth there. You've got that new vine going up over there. And this, you know, new growth everywhere. I love it. I just love the splashes on that. So that is a Hoya Public Calyx 
purple hybrid. Guessing it has purple flowers. Uh, not too sure. Uh, it's never flowered for me. I'll show you something special now because you're stuck with me this long. This is called a Hoya Crimson Princess. It is a variegated kind of Hoya. And you can see, just check out the shape of that leaf and the lovely variegation there. You've got the greens mingling in with the white. It just looks absolutely beautiful. This particular little plant has got some new growth coming there. There's also some new growth on the inside. So I'm really happy with how this one's going. It is a new plant. I only got it probably a few weeks ago, maybe a couple of months. Um, so it's not very big at the moment. I actually have another Crimson Princess that I will show you. So I've got two Crimson Princesses. This is the other Crimson Princess that I have. I've had this one a lot longer than the other one. Um, and it was doing really well, but then it started to revert. So the, the leaves that were coming out were green. They were just absolutely green and that's not what a crimson princess is supposed to look like. So what I did was I just chopped off, you know, specific vines that were giving me those green leaves and um, you can see the new growth there. That new growth over there, that is now coming out as the crimson princess should be. There's also a little bit of new growth going on there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, but yes, that is my crimson princess. So I have two crimson princesses, um, only because sometimes you just must start again. So what I'll probably do is once they get a little bigger, I'll probably put them in the same pot. So I've got a big, big pot of crimson princess. Also that conserves space. Then I'm not having two of the same plant, just taking up space, you know, you need space for other plants. Ah, uh, this is another one of my absolute favorites, a different kind of Hoya uh, leaf shape. It's the thing I love about Hoyas, they're just so diverse. They look, they can look very, very different. Some leaves are small, some leaves are huge, as big as my hand, and uh, some are variegated and some have splashes. But this one is a Hoya Matilde. I love, love, love this plant. I really wanted it for a long time. It's got these little, little waxy leaves with those little, little white splashes on them. This one's got new growth everywhere. Check out how tiny those are. And yeah, it's, it's loving life in Lekka and I can't wait for it to get bigger. So that is your Hoya Matilde. Uh, what are we going to look at next? This one is called a Hoya Mindarensis. Hoya Mindarensis. So uh, this one's also got, you know, the sharp leaves, slightly bigger leaves. Um, not much going on. It's not very exciting. Um, but you know, the leaves are interesting and that's pretty much it. So it's also got a lot of new growth going. So come this time next year, I expect this will be a huge, huge plant. So yes, that is my Hoya Mindurensis. Now coming on to a little, little plant, we're going back to the little button leaves. This is the Hoya Serpens. I love a little Hoya Serpens. Look at how um, that's going. I'm gonna have this as a trailing plant. It's really, really tiny. It was really small when I got this plant. It was about this small. It's doing really well in Lekha and it's really, it's so happy. It has so many pedicles. Um, you know, all these pedicles everywhere. Um, it was going to flower, but um, pedicles have dried up and that's not happening anymore. The flowering's not happening. I had a house move, there was way too much change for the Hoyas. Hoyas don't like too much change and uh, pentacles dried up, no flowers. But never mind that, if it has pentacles before, it will do it again. That is my Hoya Serpents. Loving, loving this Hoya Serpents. Next up, I have a type of Hoya that I love. This is a Hoya Obovata. I love a Hoya Obovata. This one, this particular Hoya Obovata is an Obovata Splash. 
look at the size of these leaves they're huge they're like dinner plates and they've got these splashes on there they're just absolutely magnificent look at the size of that it's that's just gorgeous there's one back here as well um, yes yeah, so I've got this one up on a trellis and it's doing really well in semi hydroponics and look at those aerial roots it's it's crazy how they've got all these roots up you know this one also was about to flower that over there would have been a flower but as I said because of all the changes that have gone through uh, with my plants uh, that dried up that was going to be a flower that over there was going to be a flower uh, there's another one there so you know um, my Hoya splash about to flower didn't but what can you do that is my Hoya Obovata splash uh, let us see this is a Hoya camphorfolia Hoya camphorfolia I love these the leaves are small but light green but they've got very distinct vein patterns there which makes it really lovely and it really vines up it's got some very very long vines this Hoya new growth coming along everywhere new vines as well if you look at that that's that one over there is a little new vine coming up um, it's doing really well it loves its life and I can't wait to see it get bigger I'm not sure whether I'm gonna keep it on a trellis or I might just let it um, trail I'm not sure it really depends on how much space I've got um, it's a bit tricky this is another Hoya Obovata so this is just what's the normal obovata so those leaves are huge again that's a really really big one over here it does have a few splashes over there not as much as the obovata splash but yes that's doing really really well as well i've had this plant for a while now it's been living in this particular book for some time and look at the roots that it's got there it's really happy it's got a trellis and it's doing its thing this one as well was going to flower so there's a pedicle over there but uh, maybe next time that is the Hoya Obovata that is a big big boy that is a Hoya Cheng Mai I'm not sure if I'm saying that right but it's a Hoya Cheng Mai a uh, thing I love 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 about this Hoya is the leaves are massive right and it's got this very distinct veins on this massive thick leaves look at look at how glorious that is you know it's 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 fantastic and it started um, sun stressing as well so you can see that dark the dark bits on the leaves there so that can take on a lovely lovely brown hue so that's sun stressing but that is my Hoya Chiang Mai oh something lovely now this is my Hoya Jennifer I love my Hoya Jennifer this is a recent acquisition for me again distinctive leaves really really distinct one of the things I the thing I really love about Hoyas as I said before is the leaves not necessarily the flowers but the leaves the shape of the leaves the look of the leaves they're all so different this one very distinct pattern very distinct shape Hoya Jennifer also got some new stalks coming new growth happy Hoya Jennifer uh, let's see what haven't I shown you this is a Hoya Litoralis it's a little bit different this time this one has got smaller leaves and it's got an almost neon color so we're stepping away from the dark green that we usually see on the Hoya or the variegated version but we've got more of a sort of neon color um, this one's also got some the new leaf coming over there new stalk coming over there new vine I'm sorry so that's doing really really well it's loving like and that is my Hoya Littoralis Hoya Littoralis okay 
another this is the Hoya Loheri Hoya Loheri again different style of leaf all together almost tubular shaped so if you look at the back it's got that groove there and the front is curved looks a little bit like a cactus um, yeah it's just doing its thing I've had this one for a while I think it's a pretty slow grower at least it's growing very slowly for me um, but yeah it's living in Lekka there's a little bit of new growth coming through um, yeah we'll see how that goes so that is the Hoya Loheri oh this is one of my favorite Hoyas like I said Hoya Obovata this is another kind of Hoya Obovata this is the Hoya Obovata variegata it's variegated so you can see the white across there the white across those leaves look at those leaves I mean it's it's just glorious it's got the you know very thick vine vines and there's a tiny tiny leaf coming over there not sure if you can see that very well but I it was going to flower again over there that would have been a flower that would have been a flower but hey maybe next time and I've had this one for a little bit at, and it's living in Lekka and it's living in a hundred millimeter pot it's a really small pot look at the roots on this Hoya Obovata variegata the roots are just mental so this Hoyas actually are quite happy to be a little bit root bound so there's no rush for me to take this plant out and put it in a bigger pot so I'll keep it there um, for a little while longer and see how it goes but otherwise that is my Hoya Obovata variegata lovely lovely gorgeous statement Hoya let's see what else we can find oh this is a Hoya silver pink it's a bit of a large plant one of my larger Hoyas living in a 1400 well 14 centimeter pot sorry and look at those leaves they've got this silvery hue and of course they've got the splashes that I love so much it's it's huge this plant is huge and it's going to get bigger there's some new growth over there new growth everywhere it's this plant this this one's a new leaf it's light green this plant is loving life it's just loving life this is a Hoya silver pink Hoya silver pink so all my boys, all of them live in Lekka. They live in a semi-hydroponic setup and they really, really love it. Every time I get a Hoya, it's usually in soil. I immediately, when I get it, transfer it from soil to Lekka. Um, you can find out how I do this uh, in my, one of my earlier videos where I demonstrate how I do this. And yeah, my Hoyas just absolutely love um, semi-hydroponics Keeping up with the theme of splashy Hoyas, uh, I love, love, love this one. This one is also a Hoya Publicalix. Remember we looked at the Hoya Publicalix before, we looked at the purple hybrid. This one is a Hoya Publicalix splash. Look at how splashy that leaf. How, have you ever seen anything this splashy? It is just absolutely glorious. Hoya Publicalix splash. It's also got some new growth coming through there um, there's new growth down there as well oh it I just I just love the look of this the splash is just to splash for it's it's beautiful it's loving life in in semi hydro got another Hoya here and this is the purpura fusca probably saying that wrong it's a purpura fusca look at the size of that leaf big leaves uh, very distinct veins and yeah it's I've just recently acquired this Hoya which is why it's still a little bit on the smaller side but it settled into the Lekka and seems to be happy it's not dead so that's always a plus but that is that one beautiful isn't it absolutely beautiful this one is a Hoya species pink 
species pink. So this one's leaves are not as sharp, you know, it's a bit rounder, almost a bit cylindrical, and it's got the splash, just a tiny splash. I'm a sucker for a splashy leaf. It's, I just love them. And it's got this new vine coming through with some new leaves coming. My Hoyas, my Hoyas are happy. They're really, really happy. And yeah, it's doing its thing. It's loving it. Look at that. I'm not sure if you can see. Look at that tiny leaf over there. It's just, it's just wondrous observing a Hoya grow. They're just fabulous little things. Now this is a famous Hoya that I know you all know. This is the Hoya Carrii. This is the Love Hoya. Look at that lovely heart-shaped leaf. They're just glorious. People love them. I've wanted this plant for so long. When I got it, it had, I think, four leaves. It's doing really well in Lekka. It's growing aerial roots everywhere. Look at the size of this area root. It's actually gone back into the pot, right? And there's, you know, leaves everywhere. I think it's really, really happy. This is a Hoya Carrii, Hoya Carrii. I'll show you something a little bit different now. This one is a hairy Hoya. The leaves are quite furry. It's, it's really nice. This one is called a Hoya Lotterbaki or tabacai, you know, tomato, tomato. Uh, it's very, very viney, very viney. Look at the length of that new vine. I've tried to tame it. I've got it up on a trellis. I've wound it around and around, but you know, it escapes and it's just doing its thing. There's new leaves coming through all the time. New leaves everywhere. It's living in a tiny pot. Look at those roots. Look at those roots, people. It's, yeah, I can't wait for this plant to flower. I'm told that this one rarely does flower, but when it does, it's got really, really big uh, flowers as opposed to other Hoyas. So I'm really hoping that, you know, at some point in my lifetime, I get to see this Hoya flower. But this is a hairy-leafed Oh yeah, it's absolutely amazing. This is another Hoya species pink. This is a species pink H193S. You know, there's so many species of Hoyas, like I said. Another really big, big bushy Hoya. I love it. I love this Hoya. Leaves, splash, with a little bit of sun stressing there. You can see that coloring coming through. That's going to look really, really nice when that comes through. Lots of new growth coming there as well. New vines, new vine over there. It's just another new vine there. This, it's happy. Happy, happy, happy Larry. Those are its roots. And yeah, that is the Hoya species pink. This one is a Hoya Merili. Hoya Merili. Look at the size of that interestingly shaped leaf. Look at the distinct veins that are visible there. It's This plant is glorious. I love the shape of those leaves. It's got new growth coming through as well. It's really, really happy. I'm, I'm telling you guys, you need to try your Hoyas in semi-hydro. They will absolutely love it. That's my Hoya Merili. This one is a Hoya Chook. Chook. Tiny leaves, a bit bigger than the serpents. Looks a little bit like the Matilda, but it's got that sharp um, edge there that looks a little bit like a heart shaped as well dark leaves with a little just a little hint of a splash not too much this one wants to become really bushy and there's some new growth coming through and yeah there's actually um over here that is a pedicle there this hoya was going to flower but i think that's not going to happen now because that looks like it's dried up 
but yes I have really high hopes for my Hoyas I'm really hoping that probably within the next year they might flower once we get that once we get the conditions stable for them but that is my Hoya chop different kind of Hoya again this is my Hoya Sangi this one has got tiny sharp leaves look at them it's, it's I love this plant when I got it there were it was really really tiny but I love how it's filling out and I can't wait for it to just trail down like a curtain really really tiny leaves new growth everywhere that's a new vine there are new vines everywhere but that's the Hoya Tangi it's just glorious I love the shape of those little leaves looks brilliant this is another obovata, right? So, so far we've looked at, I think, two obovatas. This is the third one. This is an obovata chimera. It's a chimera. And again, the distinctively large obovata leaves with a little bit of splashing there, not as much as the obovata splash. But yeah, I love, I love, love, love a chimera. I've actually got two um, Hoya Obovata chimeras. Um, got my other one down here, so I'll show them to you. Those are my Hoya Obovata chimeras. Um, yes, why do I have two Obovata chimeras? I'll tell you why. So, you know, I, I'm a crazy Hoya head, um, and I have a spreadsheet. I have a spreadsheet for all the Hoyas that I own. So every time I buy a Hoya, I go and I update my spreadsheet. And that's because there's so many Hoyas in this world, guys. Um, and having 47 Hoyas, that's a lot of Hoyas to remember. And it's not just, I don't only own Hoyas, I own many other plants. So, you know, spreadsheet is your friend. And every time I know I'm going shopping for Hoyas, I bring my spreadsheet along with me. But one day I just, you know, happened to be in a plant store as you do, and I didn't have my spreadsheet and I ended up picking up another Obovata Chimera because it looked so gorgeous, I had to have it. Get home, find out, I've already got one. Um, so yeah, um, sometime in the future, I will be probably just giving one of them away. Or I could just put them in, this, in one pot and have a big, Obovata Chimera. I think I might do that. That sounds like more of a plan because uh, I'm selfish. Uh, I should give it away really. So next up is something really really special. This is my Hoya Filosa. A Hoya Filosa. Look at the distinct shape of that leaf. It's absolutely glorious and it's got this distinct vein pattern as well. Um, I recently got this one. I was really, really happy to find it. And look over there. There's some new growth coming through. It's living in Lekka. Those are its roots establishing. I think um, this one's really, really happy. I recently saw one on Instagram. It was huge and it had these leaves just coming off it. It looked absolutely glorious. So I came to my plant over here and I said, no pressure, but I would like you to look like that. So that is my Hoya Filosa, people. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. How absolutely amazing are Hoyas. Got another, got another hairy, fuzzy, furry Hoya. This is called a Hoya ciliata, Hoya ciliata look at those little little furry leaves they're absolutely gorgeous it does look very similar to the Hoya Lotobaki but this is a ciliata and I think the ciliata leaves are a bit smaller than the Lotobaki but you know I don't know maybe it's just my plants but again like the Lotobaki look at how viney this is you know vines going in every direction there's new growth it, all the vines it's doing really really well this is another plant I've had for some time it's living in Lekka and it's got those roots going there it's really happy yeah that is my Hoya ciliata hairy hairy Hoya love it I've got something else that's really really special I love this Hoya I love the look at those almost box shaped leaves rectangular shaped leaves absolutely amazing they're pretty thick as well obviously it's a wax plant 
and it's got new growth. Look at those two new vines and look at those teeny, teeny leaves coming up. It's new, I recently got it, so it's just been living in Lekka and I think it's happy um, with all this new growth that it's giving me. I think it certainly is. This is a Hoya Rotundi Flora. Hoya Rotundi Flora, absolutely beautiful, absolutely spot on. Look at the shape of those leaves. You can't get past a Hoya leaf. They just, they just absolutely thrill me. Another big Hoya. This is a Hoya Green Exotica. Looks a little bit like the Public Alex and the pinks that we've been looking at with the distinctive sharp uh, leaves and a little bit of splash there. It is a bit greener, I think, which is probably why it's called a Green Exotica. But it, again, new growth. Look at that tiny, tiny leaf over there. Tiny, tiny leaf. These are new leaves. It, oh, it actually, it feels so new. It's not as waxy as the others. Obviously still quite delicate, still hardening off, but look at how pretty, look at that pretty green on there. And look at the base of that. It's just absolutely glorious. Hoya Green Exotica. Hoya Green Exotica. Got another one that looks a little bit like the green exotica. This is another public calyx. So again, pretty big, pretty sharp leaves. This is a Hoya public calyx royal Hawaiian purple. Does she not look regal? She's royal. She's regal. She looks absolutely amazing, absolutely stunning. Look at those leaves. Look at the splash on those leaves. And you know, there's some new growth there. This new growth, that's a little new leaf. It just looks beautiful. I love the growth that my Hoyas have going on at the moment. That is a Hoya Public Calyx Royal Hawaiian Purple. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'll show you something really special now that we're talking about royalty. I've got someone royal here for you. That one is royal too. This is a Hoya Crimson Queen. Remember we looked at the Hoya Crimson Princess before? Very different from the Hoya Crimson Princess. This is the Queen and isn't she majestic? Isn't she absolutely majestic? Look at those leaves. Look at how white that is, absolutely glorious. And look at that. But I, look, I can't even start to describe to you how beautiful this plant is. Look at that new growth. Those little small leaves over there, absolutely fabulous. I, you know, this plant living in Lekka, again, loving life. This is a Hoya Crimson Queen. Fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous plant, Crimson Queen. And uh, we are now going to look at the snowball. This is a Hoya snowball. I don't know why they call it a snowball. Maybe it looks, you know, the leaves are like shaped like a snowball. I don't know. But I love how the leaves are cupped. You know, look at that dip there. And they've got a little bit of splash going on. So again, different kind of leaf different kind of feel and new growth. Yeah, new growth everywhere. That is a new leaf. Oh gosh, it's a bit difficult. Anyway, this is a new vine there, new leaves there. There's a little new leaf back here. I can't, you know, get it to turn around and show itself, but there's a new leaf there. This is the Hoya Snowball. Hoya Snowball Loving Life. I'll show you something precious. Remember the Hoya Carrii? This is the Hoya Carrii Albo. This is the variegated version. Look at those heart shaped leaves looking fantastic. Very definition of love, people. This is it. When I got this plant, I think it had like three leaves on it. A little bit of a slow grower, I'm finding. 
but I don't mind. It's so, so pretty. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Can you imagine this sitting in your, you know, in a very, you know, pretty pink ceramic pot or something like that? Um, yeah, it's just absolutely glorious. So that is the Hoya Carrii Albo. Carrii Albo. Ooh. Next, 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 we have, this is the Hoya Crinkle. I know that, I don't have to read the label, but anyway, that is a Hoya Crinkle. Crinkly leaves, they look a little bit like the Indian rope, the Hoya compactor leaves, but not as crinkly. I mean, those are curled in on themselves. These are just got these depressions and crinkles on the leaf itself. So a lot easier to identify pests if there are any, but this is a crinkle. What I really love about my crinkle bowl is look at this leaf. One day this leaf just popped out. It was massive and it's got so much splash on it. It looks glorious, it's shiny, it's splashy, everything right up my alley. There's another one, that one. That one also looks, that one and that one. Those two leaves are my favorite. Splashy, shiny, and they have the crinkle going on. Beautiful. This one's also doing really, really well. Lots of new growth. There's some new growth on this vine over here. Um, living in Lekka as well. Those are the roots that it's got going. Um, loving life. Yeah, so that is the Hoya crinkle. Hoya crinkle. This one over here is the Hoya fungi. Hoya fungi, spelt like fungi mushroom fungi. Hoya fungi. I love this one. You know, it's been a slow grower for me, not too sure why, but I love the leaves. Big leaves, um, there's lots of new growth coming there. Uh, down there is some new growth as well. So I have high hopes for this one. So no pressure little one. Hoya fungi. Love a Hoya fungi. I'll show you the biggest Hoya that I've got. This is the very, very first Hoya that I had. This is the Hoya that started it all. This is a Hoya Obscura. Hoya Obscura, when I got this Hoya, it was tiny. It was tiny, it was living in soil, and it lived in soil for a pretty long time. I think I've had this Hoya for about maybe three or four years, and it got pretty big even in the soil, and then when I started moving my plants over to semi-hydro, I wasn't sure whether to move this one because I thought it wouldn't do so well because it was already quite big, but I bit the bullet and I did it anyway. And oh my gosh, it has since exploded into this big, big, big giant. Um, I've actually got nowhere to put it, but I love it. It's just got new growth every, everywhere. It's living in Lekka and this ceramic pot, it's got this ceramic pot there, that's the cash pot and it just loves life. That is my Hoya Obscura. I've propagated even, I've propagated it a few times just to see that I could do it, and I did, but I really didn't need the cuttings. I just gave those away. Um, but yeah, I love it. It was my very, very first Hoya, and I'll forever love it for bringing me joy and bringing me to the fold of Hoyas. Oh, put that down. It is quite heavy, guys. Ah, another Hoya. We're now almost there. We're almost there. Stick with me. That. Check out that gloriousness. That is a Hoya Akuta Variegata. Look at the shape. Look at the variegation. Need I say any more? New growth coming through this vine. I love it. Oopsie. Hoya. Akuta Varigata. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Um, this one. Oh, who are you? This is a Hoya tricolor. Tricolor. Obviously, three colors. Green, white, pink. Look at those little pink leaves. Have you ever seen anything so divine? It's I mean, it's got it's got everything. 
it's a Hoya, it's got all these colors going for it and lots of new growth coming through, new vines. I'm really loving this Hoya. I cannot wait for it to get bigger. It's glorious. It's a tricolor, guys. It's a Hoya tricolor. It's beautiful. This, this, this is what life is for. This is why we take care of indoor plants. Just the joy that gives me is, um, you know, I couldn't put it into words. We're almost there. So second last plant that I will show you is another, another beauty, another beauty. I need to read this one because I always get it wrong. This, wait for it, is a Hoya Hirschkeliana, Hirschkeliana. I can never remember it. <sighs> Tiny variegated leaves, new vines, I'm gonna let this trail and it's going to be gorgeous. Look at it. Hoya Hushkaliana, living in Lekka. Loving life. Hoya Hushkaliana. So now I am finally going to show you my most favorite Hoya, at least for now anyway. This is a Hoya I've been hunting down for months and months and months. I saw it on Instagram so many times and I so wanted one and I couldn't get one. I eventually got one and wow, it blew my mind and it continues to blow my mind and I know why, why I wanted it. So I will show you my most favorite Hoya at the moment. And that is that. That is a Hoya Australis Lisa. Hoya Lisa. Oh. It's, 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 it's heaven in a pot, heaven in a pot. Look at the size of those leaves. Look at the shape. These are new ones. Look at the colors. You've got green, you've got a little bit of pink in there. You've got yellows, you've got whites. I couldn't, I just couldn't even describe what that looks like. It's absolutely glorious. Um, there's new growth coming through as well. So I'm really, really loving it. I cannot wait for this to become a larger plant. So that's my Hoya Lisa, my favorite Hoya at the moment, at the moment. So that's it. That is all my Hoyas. I think, I hope I didn't leave anybody out, but uh, I think I got everyone. Yeah, thank you so much for sticking with me. I know this was pretty long, but you know, I have quite a few Hoyas. So this is my very long Meet My Hoyas video. Thank you so much for sticking with me. And whenever I get any new Hoyas, I will show them to you guys. And further down the track, I'll show you how all these guys are tracking and what they look like, you know, maybe six months down the track, one year down the track. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. Please like, subscribe and share and I will see you next time. Goodbye.